Dash of Home. Those of you that are new here, my name is Ashley and I am a homeschool mom of three. In today's video, I have a huge book outlet haul. I think I got over 35 books that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in today's video. I also bought a bunch of art crafts, painting kits, but I'm going to be uh, saving those and I'll be sharing those in a like spring refresh um, homeschool update video next week. All right. So in this haul, this is my second time ordering from the book outlet. And my first haul was a lot of um, nonfiction books. I got a lot of the What Is, Who Is series, um, and just a bunch of books to start building our collection. So this time I kind of focused more on my older daughter. She really likes graphic novels. And so I found a bunch of graphic novels for her that I'm excited to share. Um, a lot of books about like growing up, like preteen, tween age range um and so a lot of that focus was on her but i also got a lot of books on women's history because in march women's history month is coming up so i wanted to get some of those books and then i also just found a couple other fun collections that i'm going to share with you guys today all right so i'm gonna try to keep these in some sense of an order but i have so many that um Bear with me if I kind of forget to put some together. First ones that I'm going to show you, and these are something that we probably are not going to be using really anytime soon. I got them because I thought it was such a great deal, and I know it's something that I eventually want to um, teach and homeschool, and they are the No Fear um, Shakespeare plays. And so these No Fear Shakespeare, they are made by Sparknotes, and what they are is it has the entire play word for word, but then it also has um, the play like broken down into more modern language retelling. So you can really understand without being, you know, a Shakespeare expert of, you know, what the play means, what they're talking about. It has a study guide, different questions and things like that. I thought that this would just be a really good thing to have in the future. Now these retail for $9.95. So these aren't even expensive normally. And I think I got them for like $4 each from the book outlet. So I got No Fear, Shakespeare, A Midnight Summer's Dream. Macbeth, Hamlet, and of course, Romeo and Juliet. So these are just something I wanted to add to our library because I got such a great price on them. Um, so I'm excited for those. Now in that same line of Shakespeare, these are still the same brand, No Fear Shakespeare, okay? But these are graphic novels. So these are graphic novels of the play. Okay. Now I don't know. I don't think this is going to be the exact play of Macbeth because it just seems way too small, especially in graphic novel, graphic novel form. Um, but I think this would be a fun way to introduce it. So I could let my daughters read this and then we could do the whole play study, the real play together with that other book. So for this, I got Macbeth and I got Romeo and Juliet. Okay. So those are kind of all within the same theme. The next books that I got were kind of some like growing up, coming of age books for my older daughter. Um, this one is called Bunk Nines, A Guide to Growing Up. And it almost looks like a cute little journal. Um, I have to be careful <laughs> flipping through some of these pages um, because they are talking about growing up and bodies and things like that. So um, there's some drawings in there. So basically what this is, a story that girls are at camp and there's older girls, camp leaders that are telling the younger girls at camp like what's gonna happen with their body. So the way that the story is being told is really cool because it's from an older girl's perspective to younger girls. Um, it's really positive because any of you that have growing daughters, you know that it can be very awkward for them. They go through changes before boys do. And so it just kind of goes into all of that. It's very fun. Um, 
I highly recommend if you even think about getting this book, you as a parent need to read through it first because there may be some things you're, you haven't discussed yet or maybe you don't want to talk about. Um, so I'm just gonna give you guys that warning. I've already had um, talks with my daughter. We're very open and honest. I'd rather her hear anything and everything from me first. Um, and so I skimmed through it, but I was fine. Um, letting her read this book. She did grab this first and she read through it and then her and I had a couple hour discussion afterwards. So if you're looking for something to kind of open up that doorway and have a more fun, positive twist on it, um, this is a really good book for that. So before I even found that book, this was a book that I wanted to get. I wanted to get the Judy Bloom, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. This book has been around for a while. Um, they redid the cover for like a texting, like she's texting God, um, which I thought was cute. It was super modern um, play on it, but it's still the same book. So um, this is something that I've been wanting my daughter to read. Um, and what's funny is they actually talk about this book in this book. So once you get to a section, they're like, if you haven't read this book, stop reading this one and read this one. So I thought that was kind of cute that I didn't really know that they were going to talk about each other and they ended up doing so. If you watch any of my other videos, uh, you know that we're not super religious in the sense of doing Bible study every day or even me talking about you know our religion and things like that. Um, it is something that we believe in, but I think it's um, something private that I want my kids to find on their own. And so um, books like this are helping their daughter kind of discover God and her feelings towards that um, and prompt for those discussions. Okay, so I got this book as well. I also found these cute series. Um, I don't really know what the name of the books are called, but they are a series where the entire book is in like text messages, <laughs> which I thought was super funny. So uh, you know, kids these days, they are all about texting and social media. Um, I think these are also like a coming of age. Um, so these ones are about boys and it's saying when the guys at school start saying dumb things about girls. So just, um, you know, as boys and girls start changing, I feel like there's that shift between their friendships and why. And so I think this is a fun you know, like fictional book about that. This one is about um, the character's mom being super overprotective, which I thought was funny because I'm very overprotective. Um, and so I think my daughter can relate to that. And so I thought this series was cute. These are books six and seven in the series. And so I'm gonna be looking for the other books in this series. Um, if you've never shopped on the book outlet before, they just have discount books. They don't always have the full series as well as I don't like their search function. It doesn't really work great. So most of the time I just find a book I like and then start looking at books that are like similar or recommended and I kind of just go on from there. So I'll be on the hunt for more of these series of books for my older daughter as well. I also got her a five minute devotion book. Again, I think it's important um, as she's getting older for her to start exploring um, her thoughts, her religion, um, her relationship with God. And so this kind of just breaks out small little five minute devotions that she can read and you know she can think about we can talk after and stuff like that our books for women's history month coming up in march and so i got from the what is series what is the women's right movement and so i love the what is who is series if you've seen my other haul you know i got a bunch of these types of books and so i just like the way that these are laid out. They're easy for my daughters to read on their own. They're easy for us to work together with read alouds. Um, so I got this one. I got this book, it's called Blast Back, A Peek Into the Past, The Woman's Suffrage. And this seems like the similar writing style where the text isn't super um, small. There's pictures to kind of keep you interested. This talks about just different people during women's suffrage, the importance of it, what's different between now and then. So I thought that that was good. I got this one, Roses and Radicals. This is the epic story of how American women won the right to vote. This one seems a little bit older than the other ones. Birds are obviously a lot smaller, a lot more information. There are actual real images, so not like little graphics, real images. 
I think this one will be good for my older daughter to read um, or for me to do like a read aloud. Same line, um, I found these books, The Little Women book. I know that that's a very popular classic story. And so I found Little Women, Littler Women? A modern retelling. And so I've never read Little Women. Um, it's something that I want to read, but I like when they do like retellings of books because I like to compare and contrast. So this is this is Littler Women, okay, <laughs> not Little Women. Um, and then I also got this book, Joe, an adaptation of Little Women. So again, another adaptation of it, another version of it. This one is graphic novel. So um, my oldest daughter really likes graphic novels. They tend to keep her interest a little bit more. Um, and so we'll see kind of how this goes. I think what would be cool if I read the real um, Little Woman book, she read this one and then maybe we read this one together and then we can kind of all talk about, you know, the differences and stuff like that. Moving on, um, I got a ton of graphic novels, like I said, so that's what I'm going to be showing next. If you don't know what a graphic novel is, it's basically like... I'm, this isn't right because there's a whole thing of, of comic books or whatever, but it's like a comic book pretty much. So there's um, pictures, graphics, and words on all the pictures. So when I first started seeing my daughter bring these home, I'm like, you cannot read these books. These are not, I don't know, they just seemed like very young, um, lower reading levels. But as I started looking through them, um, they can be higher reading levels. So just because they have a bunch of pictures and images, they're using higher level vocabulary. Um, they have tons of words. They're a lot bigger. Um, and so they have enough pages. If my daughter wants to read these as her on the own fun book, I'm totally fine with that. Um, I think any kind of reading is important. So I got tons of them. I got fiction, and nonfiction, um, classic stories of them, a whole bunch of them. So this is ACT. This is um, about a girl starting sixth grade, new experiences, um, and she makes a decision to act against the decision her school's making, so standing up for yourself. So I thought that this one would be super cute. This one is Clash, and this is by that same author. And so this girl is a new girl in class and kind of just her experiences with that. This one is called Real Friends. So this is about friendship and it says like when best friends are not forever. And so just probably goes into, you know, the preteen, teen drama, what can happen with friends. Uh, maybe you're, you know, you think someone's always gonna be your friend and they're not, so just stuff that my daughter can relate to and i think that's really important you know let's see this one is called doodleville drew thinks she has life down to a fine art until she has to confront a monster of her own creation so uh, my daughter loves drawing and so um, i thought that this one would be entertaining for her as well and this one is almost 300 pages. So that's what I mean. Even though there's only a few words on each picture, um, there's still a lot and they're all different reading levels. So um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably um, put these in our like kind of little reading system that we use to tell me what levels they're at and if we have quizzes on them and I'll kind of judge where they're at as well. Because I know my little daughter is gonna wanna read them too, but I found that she took one of her my older daughter's graphic novel books and the words were a little bit too difficult for her. So I do wanna make sure I kind of look at those as well. All right, these ones are some nonfiction. So these are graphic novels, Heroes of Discovery Who Changed the World. And so um, just different people who created different discoveries, different inventions. So I thought this was like a fun spin on something that may be a little boring. Um, Heroes of Science. So like Charles Darwin, Albert Einstein, they're all in this book as well. Okay. The next ones, we're still doing graphic novels. Um, this is a graphic novel from the Land of Stories, Goldilocks Wanted Dead or Alive. Um, this book is huge. This has to be like 350 pages. So this is an adaptation of Goldilocks. It's obviously a little bit, um, you know, more 
grown up than the traditional Goldilocks. Um, she has a sword. And so um, I think this is a fun retelling as well from the story. So I think my older daughter will like reading that. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So again, a classic story, but in graphic novel form. Oh, I do have another um, woman's history book. This is History Smashers. It didn't really happen this way. Woman's Right to Vote. Um, fun, fast history for kids who want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Absolutely smashing. Um, so myth, lies, and secrets. So I thought that this would be fun because, you know, history is one of those things that depending on what book you read is kind of what story you're being told. So I find it interesting when some of them try to like debunk stuff and all of that. So history smashers if we like this book they have other ones they have the mayflower pearl harbor which i think would be interesting when we do different history lessons as well um i got wayside school sideways stories from wayside school and wayside school gets a little stranger i remember reading these kit these not these kids reading these books when i was a kid and i really liked them um so i just got these um probably for like a read aloud for us to do together I got this book. It's a national award winner. It's called Mockingbird. Um, it's a good and strong, beautiful story. 10 year old Caitlin's world has always been black and white. Anything else was confusing, but her brother Devin helped her understand. Then tragedy struck and now nothing makes sense. As a girl with Asperger's syndrome, Caitlin turns to what she does know, textbooks and dictionaries. So this book is about a girl with Asperger's, um, which I just think it's really important, um, you know, to understand what others are going through and get their perspective. And I'm excited. We will probably read this book together, um, honestly, because I just want to read it as well. Okay. We got Dark Tales, a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast and the Snow Queen, which is Frozen. These are a little bit more modern, more grown up tellings of classic uh disney type stories and they are graphic novels i love disney stories um beauty and the beast is my all-time favorite and so i'm excited to read this and the snow queen i was actually shocked to see um the snow queen or like the frozen one so i'm excited to see that one as well another graphic creation heroes of space and so this is about um like neil armstrong different things with nasa and so again, a graphic novel to kind of make things fun and light. Um, Click, which is another graphic novel. I know I've seen this one in like the Scholastic um, book flyer. I think this is one of the most popular ones. Ooh. So like that. Um, this was about a girl in fifth grade. Um, and so it's like a talent show and just talking about the story with that. I'm sure there's some sort of drama involved or maybe she's nervous and how she works through all of that. This one is Chloe and Cartoon, when Chloe first met her cat. Um, this one my daughter loves, loves, loves cats. She's just unfortunately highly allergic. So um, I thought that this would be cute for her. And again, it's kind of like a graphic novel in a way more of a more of a comic I would say this one is so I got that one for her as well and then the last set of books that I got um is this pack and I'm going to open it now I also got a ton of like arts and crafts and like stem science type activity boxes from book outlet but I'm not showing those in this video. I'm going to be showing those in my spring refresh uh, video that's coming out next week. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know um, when that video comes out because I have all of those kits to show you as, as well as a bunch of other fun springtime stuff as well. Okay, so the last book um, or set of books I bought was Horrible Geography geography with the gritty bits left in so i have seen this book or this book set on amazon i've just seen it randomly and it retails for i think like 60 bucks um it is scholastic i got it for like 20 dollars, so i thought that that was good um these are just different 
books that are supposed to, they're supposed to be fun, but they're supposed to give information and facts, okay? So this one's about um, volcanoes. This is about stormy weather, raging rivers, audacious oceans, monster lakes, freaky peaks, which is like mountains. I think that title's funny. Um, earth shattering earthquakes, desperate deserts, cracking coasts and blooming rainforest. So obviously like dinosaurs don't exist, they're not real, but rainforests are real. So what I'm hoping is these books really just kind of introduce us to different, you know, geography terms, just different things, how to identify like what makes a rainforest, what makes a coast, what what is a mountain, what, you know, what is a desert. And so that's what I'm hoping and just like kind of a fun way. And so I will probably read through some of these books and see where I can pair them um, with different lessons. So all of these books and it comes in this nice thing. I love when books come in thing in cases like this because I just put these right in my bookshelf and then it keeps them organized. Because if I don't have this, um, any books that are in a series get mixed up and it drives me nuts. So I really love, if I can ever find series like this, I buy them because um, it's just my favorite way to keep books organized. All right, so those are all the books I got. So, um, I think I spent, and remember, I just showed you the books. I got a bunch of other um, painting craft activities. So on books, I probably spent around $150, including shipping. Now, I really like the book outlet. I like the prices. I like that the books are new. They're not used. Other thrift book websites that I've bought before, um, I, you get used books and they're used. So that is one reason I really like the book outlet is they are new books. Um, shipping takes forever. I don't know if it's because of where I live or what, but this is the second time I've ordered from them and shipping just takes a really long time. So that's just my only downside to it. Um, but other than that, I think I got a great deal on all these books. I love all these books. Um, and so if you've never shopped at the book outlet, you can get $5 off your first order if you use my link down below. If you do end up using it, I also get $5. So if you support me, um, all that I'll do is I'll turn around and buy more books and share them with you guys. So I thank you all. I know this video is a little bit long, but I had a bunch of books to show you. Um, like I said, I have a bunch of other videos coming out um, over this week and next week. I have other curriculum haul. I have the rest of my book outlet haul that has more spring activities. I have a spring refresh video coming out. So please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I would love to hear if you've had any of these books before or if you're interested in any of these books. So make sure you leave that in a comment down below. And as always, hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.